Welcome to Tesla Bytes. Today we will be covering ArcGIS Pro digitizing polygons. In this video, I will discuss how to digitize polygons, how to modify vertices, and the snapping tool. In this exercise, we want to digitize this area that has lots of buildings and roads and car parking lots. First thing we need to do is to create a feature class. For that, we go to the catalog and then we right click at the geo database and select to create a feature class here i already have two feature classes which are empty for now buildings and parking lots to start the digitization go to edit create and then select which one you want to start digitizing first i will start with the buildings so select building here and then select this polygon feature tool. I will start by drawing this building first. So at every corner, start clicking and follow the outline of the building. And then here, as you double click, it closes. And that's how you digitize a polygon. Next, we will show you how to use this auto complete polygon tool as you can see here in this building there is a small part right here so first we draw the big one by clicking at the corners and double click and then when you are about to draw this small one select this auto complete tool and make sure your snapping is turned on Snapping is located here under edit toolbar and it is very critical for digitization because it makes sure that your corners and edges are aligned. And then with the auto complete tool, if you click at the corners and here as you double click, it aligns this edge perfectly with the bigger building. You can also draw a circle or different shapes using these tools. Next, I want to show you how to use this vertices tool. So I have drawn the outline of this parking lot. As you can see, the polygon does not match the parking lot boundary. How can we fix this? To fix it, first select the polygon, then click on vertices. Now you can see all the vertices of this polygon and if you click here you see this color has turned solid red and you can actually drag it if needed you can also use this add option to add another vertex here take it here here i actually want to move this whole segment to do that select this normal option and now if I can draw a polygon covering all the vertices and they have turned solid green. Now actually I can move the vertices as a block as I wish. This is the end product after we edited our vertices. That looks much better now. Next is snapping. I will use the example of digitizing this building to show the effectiveness of snapping. As I showed you before, snapping is located under edit tab right here. And within this, there are different options for snapping. Point snapping, end point snapping, a vertex snapping, edge snapping, intersection, midpoint, tangent snapping, etc. Let's first see the example. This big white and brown building shares its edges and corners with many other buildings that we have already digitized. Now we will first try to digitize this with the snapping off. As you can see in the result, we have overlapped or missed a lot of areas in this place. Now we want to try it with the snapping on. Now with the snapping on, 
you can see that it is so easy to recognize where the edges are and where the corners are of the shared polygons. This is our final product. You can see that this is much better than the previous one where we turned our snapping off. You can also set the snapping tolerance in the snapping settings. You can change this number depending on how closely you want to pick the edges or the vertices. To recap, we discussed how to digitize a polygon, how to modify the vertices to correct a polygon, and finally, the use of the snapping tool. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve UGIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to subscribe and ring that bell.